All right, so now we're going to set up TBox. I'm going to include this configuration script inside the resource section, but essentially TMUX makes it fun to play in the terminal. You can split panes, you can copy and paste and do a bunch of really cool things. You will quickly become proficient with TMUX as we go through this course. All right, so what I'm going to do first is check my directory. I'm in the home Kali directory and I am the Kali user, right? So what I can do is I can say sudo vim and then in the home directory, that's what the tilde means, create a file called dot tmux.conf. The dot means it'll be hidden, but you'll see what I mean in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit I to go into insert mode, and I'm just going to paste in this script. Again, I'm going to include this script inside of the resource section. I just pressed control shift V to paste it in escape shift ZZ to save. And then we're just going to make sure the script is here and you can see it is. If we did LS minus LAHR, just grep for tmux. You'll see it right there. So what we want to do is create a new tmux session. So tmux new s python pen test. Let's just name it that for now. All right, you can see our taskbar is blue. That means that our configuration is set up correctly. Control A I is a way to commit the configuration, and then we can do sudo git clone control shift V. This is just the tmux logging plugin so that as we are typing commands, it'll be logged and we can go back through our logging history and recall what we did earlier. So it's really helpful to have this set up. Now that we've got that set up, we can say tmux source file, and we're just going to put in our configuration file. I just tab completed it in order to make it finish that way. So I did the tilde forward slash dot tmux, and then I hit tab and it completed the file. And that's because I can't type. <laughs> Typing and talking, it's a skill when you do both simultaneously. All right, so we wanna type source file, press enter, that looks good. And then control A, shift P, and you see it started logging, right? So that's one of the ways that you can log, control A, shift P and our commands will be logged here. So that is pretty cool, guys. Tmux is now set up. And really the last thing that we need to do, let's go ahead and exit this, is to jump into VS Code and to set that up. Now, one nice thing about Tmux is that it will actually persist across sessions. So if I close out of the terminal and I reopen it, I can just get back into my Tmux session. And we'll get into that in a moment. You'll, you'll see all that goodness when we, when we when we play with Tmux. But what we're going to do in the next lecture is we're going to set up Visual Studio Code for Python, right? And this is going to be our development environment. Some people use PyCharm. Others just use the raw Python interpreter, which is really just going into the terminal and typing Python, right? Well, if I knew how to spell Python, that is one option, but we're not going to take that approach because it is a lot easier you can even do Python 3. It is a lot easier to just use an IDE like Visual Studio Code. This is one of the best. All right, guys, so I will see you in the next lecture when we are going to set up this interface and configure it for Python. All right, see you in a little bit. Peace.